What's going on, trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and yes, that's right, I'm back. You know, it's been a while, it's been like almost a week, or maybe two weeks actually, now that I think about it, since the RNG battle that I did with Co Cannon. If you guys have not seen that video yet, make sure you do so. It's a really fun episode. I'm planning to do more of these before Sword and Shield drop out, but. I want to do something a little bit different for this video. Of course the title says it all, but I haven't done it yet. I'm just recording right now. So, yes, I'm kind of in this groove where I'm just uploading some interesting matches here on Pokemon Showdown. I'm trying to get some matches going in from my Ultra Sun 3DS file, which I haven't done in forever. And I think it's almost time to retire it. I'm not sure. But we'd like to get a couple of matches in with that. We'll see how I deal with it. If not, that's okay as well. But, yes, my schedule is kind of different. So, like, I had it set for Mondays and Fridays. This video is going to be out Friday. So, that's a good sign. But my schedule was not working out for me. I wanted to upload on Monday and Friday, but then, you know, things changed a little bit on Mondays, so I have to adjust to that. I signed up for a bowling league that I'm a part of in my community. It's a lot of fun uh, meeting new people, and sometimes they... these things happen, right? You know, you just want to find new things to do, and you just have to cope with it, so... Yes, I'm going to figure out my schedule, but it's going to be Fridays, for sure. Um, maybe Saturdays and Sundays, but I'm usually doing something on the weekends, so I can't really do that. Uh, but, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Alright, enough of that. So, for this video here, it's a little bit different. You know, I'm not doing a random battle, but I am doing something kind of different here on Pokemon Showdown Beta. Now, if you look over here, you'll, you'll see... Every month and all that, like, you can look at the OM of the month. Every month they change things up and they add new metas every other month. So, like, last month was, I actually don't remember what it was, but I think Pokemon posted it. But I'll link that in the description of what that meta was. But, essentially, there's a meta of the month, and for this month in particular, uh, you've got Mega Mons and you got Merge Mons. So these two are the OM of the month. I'm not doing that, but I'm just showing you guys that you guys should really do it because I'm gonna probably upload a video of that, about that before it's expired. What I wanted to do today is actually, when I was going through these, I was like, okay, what looks interesting? Like almost any ability looks good. Missing Mega, Balance Hack Mons, which has been around for a while. And then you have the Let's Go. Here, which is random battle, OU and doubles, OU. I'm not really a fan of the doubles, but I go down here, right? And you see these two right here. I'm like, ooh, this looks interesting because back in the day when I wasn't a competitive gamer or a competitive Pokemon trainer, I should say, I would go to, I would do the, uh, the, the Battle Factory right here. The Battle Factory, and I think a BSS Factory is essentially three on three. And it looks like I'm right. It makes a lot of sense now that I think about it, but I am going to be doing the Battle Factory. And I have a video that I'm going to be showing you guys in just a moment here, detailing what this is. And I, I was going through it and doing a couple of matches, just trying to see what it was. I'm pleasantly surprised. They pick random Pokemon, fully evolved Pokemon, and they do it by tier, I believe. Because I remember doing a match in the OU ladder, and then a match that was in the UU ladder, and then one other match was in the lower ones, which is like RU or, RU or NU. It's one of those. I don't remember exactly on top of my head right now. But yeah, we're going to be doing the Battle Factory. I thought it was a lot of fun doing these matches when I did them. So I figured I post a few videos regarding that. So you'll expect a few uploads regarding that, and then I'll also upload a match regarding uh, Mega Mons and Merge Mons. 
one of these two. I'll pick one. Because I think you can choose one and go from there. But yeah. Thank you guys for hearing me out. And let's jump right into the Battle Factory. This should be fun. Stay tuned, trainers. This is a match where you go on Showdown and you just select the Battle Factory. It's a lot of fun. You guys should really do it. Alright? So basically what this is, is it goes by tier. It picks a random tier. Whether it's OU, I haven't seen Ubers yet, or Legendaries rather, um, the Legendary tier. I've gotten OU, UU, RU, something like that. Right here is, I would like to say UU is a mixture of RU and NU. I would have to say that because I believe UC is in UU, right? I, I have to double check. But I know Kingdra is somewhat UU, I think OU at one point too. I'm not sure. I have not seen any changes regarding Kingdra. But. Let's go over my team real quick. I have a Registeel, Miss Magius, Vanillas, Oregon 2, which is pretty cool, Pangoro, which actually devours my opponent's team. It's gonna be Fire. And then you have Mega Blastoise, which unfortunately we don't really use Mega Blastoise all too well, which is a small spoiler, but it's not going to matter too much, honestly. Uh, some annoying Pokemon here. We got Slowbro, we got You'll see a deal with also Mega Abomasa, Dragology, and then you have King Dread. So he's got some dragons and some <laughs> psychic types, which it doesn't it doesn't really matter as far as like coverage goes because you got Dragology to deal with the uh, the ice types or no okay I messed up. You got Dragology who is weak to ice, but then you have Abomasa to resist it. And then as far as these two right here go. The Slowbro and the UC, you got Mandibuzz. Not so much for Kingdra. <laughs> Although he's part dragon too. But my team is looking really good here, especially Pangoro. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this thing. I kinda don't remember some parts of this. I should have rewatched it before I started recording, but it's okay. So at the beginning, I figured I'd start with Pangoro and knock something, I'll knock an item away or knock something off, I don't know, something like that. It's it's an opportunity to do that. I do knock off with Abomasnow out, which reveals he's a mega Abomasnow. So I switch out going to Registeel, expecting the wood hammer or an ice shard or an icicle crash. I don't know if he gets that, but it's one of those moves. And I'm like, all right, well, Registeel is a great candidate. So I wanted to get my stealth off the next turn as he brings in Kingdra. Goes for Drago Meteor on the next turn, which I believe is an over prediction because why would you go for a Drago Meteor? He was obviously switching, or he's begging me for me to switch. Uh, I'm a little bit tired, so my narration might be a little off right there, but it's okay. I go with the Seismatoss, he finally goes for the Hydro Pump, and the Hydro Pump doesn't do this much damage, which is awesome. This Registeel appears to be in the special defensive category as far as EVs go. I go for yet another seismic toss. It's doing some major damage. Registeel, shout out to him. Now Pangoro, like I said, Pangoro is going to be amazing in this game. It has sword stance actually. We can't use it right now because of the taunt that is activated from Manibus. So I go for a knockoff. I, I don't know why my opponent switched out right there because I I mean, he should have realized that I had knockoff at that point in time, right? So, because I can't set up or anything. Why would you do that? So we take care of Slowbro, basically for free. And um, that's cool. And we get to knock off UC as well. I think my opponent thinks that UC was not as good. Just getting up the Skull and so be it. So, I mean, I'm not... I'm not too worried about this because I was going to go for the rapid spin, but I get blown away by the devastating Drake. So unfortunately, we don't use the Blastoise in this battle, which is unfortunate. That's okay though, we have this Miss Magius here. And I'm like, alright, well you have an ASCII plot, we can make something work out of this. So we have a plus two boosted never ending nightmare. So we're going to easily wipe out the Dragology here. That is something, that is definitely something to see right there. Unfortunately, 
we do have Nagabuzz. I didn't want him to roost. He wanted to roost before attacking. I really don't want him to do that. So I'm okay with him knocking me out right there. That means I can go back into Pangoro yet again, who is definitely the win con. And because I taunted the Nagabuzz, he can't use taunt on me. So that means I can go for my own sword stance. Now I realized that the foul play was there, but I should be able to live it. So I mean, it's not a big deal. I was aware of it. I just wanted to make sure I can survive it and then I can do some damage. I'm going to hold on to Pangoro for the end game here. I realized I have a Vanilla, which I haven't, I haven't used yet. So Vanilla is cool. It's got a good move set. It's got you know, freeze dry, uh, flash cannon, as you see here. We managed to KO the Kingja, which really, it, it really seals the match for me because, like, had he not done that, I would have probably used Pangoro or Vanilla Striver and used the freeze dry to KO it. But then you have the stealth box too, so yeah, a very fast game, but like, that is the battle factory for you. I mean, you have random teams generated for you, and you don't know the movesets until you just look at them on the screen before you select the Pokemon to send out, so. Yeah, a very fast game indeed, but I had a lot of fun. It was definitely a, a game where I didn't really use a lot of Pokemon. Like, I didn't use Porygon too, which I believe was a defensive build. But that's okay, some matches be like that. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you end up enjoying this video, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next Battle Factory episode or the Merge Bonds episode. We'll see. Have a great day, trainers.